front axle brake chamber. In principle, it functions like a piston in a cylinder. The brake chamber has a pressure plate and a non-pressure plate with a rubber diaphragm between them. A channel-shaped clamp ring holds them together. The return spring in the chamber holds the push plate and rod assembly against the non-pressure side of the diaphragm. There are many sizes of brake chambers. Each develops a different mechanical force. A service brake chamber's size and relative power output is specified by a number representing the square inch area of its diaphragm. This chamber is a type 20. Its diaphragm has a 20 square inch area for air pressure to act on. With a brake application, air pressure enters the inlet port and acts upon the diaphragm. The diaphragm balloons and forces the push rod and push plate out of the chamber against the minimal resistance of the return spring. The brakes are thus applied. The force exerted against the push rod, and therefore the power of the brake application, is dependent upon the air pressure applied to the chamber diaphragm. If, for example, the brake delivered 30 psi pressure to a type 20 chamber, the push rod would move out with a force of 600 pounds. That's 30 psi on each of the diaphragm's 20 square inches, or 20 times 30. When the brake application is released, air in the brake chamber goes out the inlet port it entered. As air pressure is removed, the return spring retracts the push rod and releases the brakes.